Hi, I'm Lee Porter, and I'm, ooh, I'm with Trebuchet Group. And um, in my life, I have observed many leaders, good, bad, and really, really bad. I'm a leader, but I'm also a follower who realizes it, that it's the quality of leadership that inspires me to dream more, learn more, and become more. So bad, these bad leadership examples will hopefully remind you that it could be a lot worse. They'll help you to know what not to do, and they'll provide possibly some marginal information. Marginal information. <laughs> so Vlad the Impaler, famous for his absolute ruthlessness, he enslaved nobles and, t and worked them till they took their clothes came off. <laughs> that was nice. Um, he was, uh, I guess, absolute power corrupts absolutely. What's the lesson? Um, the lesson is uh, enabling others to do their best includes believing in people and stretching their limits and not impaling or dismembering. <laughs> Marie Antoinette was born into a life of political intrigue. She was made Queen of France at 18, and she became known as uh, a spendthrift. She didn't actually make that cake comment, um, but she was, um, uh, she was very gracious and went kindly to her sentence of the guillotine. The lesson we have to learn from her is that embracing change puts you in the best situation to manage it, or else you may lose your head. Custer had a distinguished war record. Um, he was known by the nicknames Curly, Yellow Hair, Hard Ass, and Iron Butt. <laughs> he stated that he could whip any village, Indian village, on the plains. However, when he split his uh, force of 600 men against an uh, estimated 3,500 warriors and chiefs, not a sol single sol soldier was left standing. His lesson, hubris can kill. What you don't know may be more important than what you do. Adolf Hitler was obviously a totalitarian jerk. <laughs> his father was abusive, but that's no excuse. His forces systematically uh, uh, killed between 11 and 17 million civilians, including about 6 million Jews. What's the lesson we have to learn from this? Appreciate the differences in people while you seek a collective direction and goal, and treat everyone humanely. Mao Zedong founded the Chinese Communist Party, and his policies starved entire regions. He was responsible for the death of between 40 and 70 million people. Um, he, he, he had poor dental hygiene, he tur his teeth turned green. He blamed it on, rum, on green tea. What's the lesson to be learned from this? Respect others by encouraging them to share their viewpoints and listen to how they want to improve things, and then don't execute them. <laughs> Joseph Stalin, uh, famous for the Great Purge, in which 600,000 uh, people died by torture or execution. 15 and to 30 million civilians perished under his regime. Um, photos portray Stalin as massive and, and majestic, but it was re really only five foot four inches tall, famous for shooting the people who didn't depict him right. What's the lesson? Being vulnerable helps people willingly follow you and avoids excessive, excessive photoshopping. Ken Lay planned an accounting fraud, creating the biggest bankruptcy in U.S. history at the time, cost 20,000 employees their jobs and many their life savings. He sold his Enron stock while its, at, while its price fell while encouraging his coworkers to buy more. What's the lesson we have to learn from that? As a leader, the rest of the organization is limited by your abilities and your integrity. So what are these leadership lessons we've learned today? Enabling others to do their best includes believing in people and stretching their limits. Embracing change puts you in the best situation to manage it. What you don't know may be more important than what you do know. Appreciate the differences in people while you seek a collective direction and goal. Being vulnerable helps people willingly follow you. And as a leader, the rest of the organization is limited by your ability. There's followership lessons here, too. There's more to life than safety, simplicity, and security. Leaders must be challenged and held to their higher intentions. There are no leaders without followers, and followers permit unethical and ineffective leaders to function. When change is happening to you, real improvement is up to you. If you want more information on leadership, check out my website.